No, like like uh, the insane clown boss and juggalos. <laughs> we got neck beards. Okay. Uh, what we got going on today is uh, like an open table discussion. Um, we ran a challenge on Facebook to come up with uh, some great topics, and we picked our first one. Yeah, there was a challenge that said the person that, that came up with the most controversial um, post on Facebook, uh, they had to write challenge accepted to be accepted into this. Uh, I just like having fun on our Facebook, getting people to talk as much as humanly possible, so this was my first go at it. What's our Facebook called? Um, it's www.facebook.com backslash A-N-R bad publicity. All one word? All one word. Boom. Um, you can't have a space in the URL. Maybe you can but I can. I'm king of the neck beard. You're God. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, we got a lot of great responses, a lot of great uh, talk, um, and I know I had a lot of fun uh, with this. Um, but ultimately, it was uh, Mike Shekel who came up with the the challenge or the the, the best conversation overwhelmingly um it got i think 18 comments on it which i mean is a lot for now but yeah we, for, a, for a community that has at the time we had about 40 people yeah so. and these aren't like little like comments here and there these are like well thought out yeah. responses right so um, there were a couple that had like just close to 18 but it was me goofing around a lot too so <laughs> um so uh the, he wrote uh challenge accepted in order to be uh part of this and he said fast advance is a crap way to play and invalidates half of the choices and deck ideas a corp could be trying out uh this will probably result in project beal being terribly underplayed and then he wrote gen techie shell game for life i like this guy a lot <laughs> um so first off do you do you feel fast advance is a bad way to play I, there's there's the upsides and the downsides to fast advance. I think that uh, every every player has to have an element of fast advance in their deck in order to be competitive. Because the, the early game, the time frame, the time restraints in a tournament it, it, it is excruciating. If you haven't played in a tournament, it's it, sixty five minutes. Even if it's a 75, 75 minute round, it's, it's just still a stretch with an anxiety. To in, yeah. yeah. So um, I I am not a fan of fast advance. Obviously, I play Gentechi shell game. Yeah, you, um, you stretch the clock. You definitely. Uh, yeah, I, I say that I would take a good half hour, forty five minutes to play my game. So I, I mitigate that with my criminals. But um, it's just uh, I don't know. I think that especially playing criminals, when I see a fast advance player, I I there's no tricks. There's no nothing. I mean, there might be those subtle things in there, but it, really at the end of the day, you're just trying to fast advance. I can see what Mike's trying to say, mm -hmm. um, and he makes a great point, and that's. Why we're talking about it right now? Yeah. So it, it it does it does cripple a lot of cards, and you're definitely not gonna you know you're I think you definitely have to build for a fast advance style if you're a corporation because it timeline right to to a point. So it, it, it it's not that it cripples the cards; it's just that it, it will it will stop people from ta making certain card choices, right? So a lot of cards like you'll be flipping through your bottom and be like, well, I've never seen that. Well, the reason why is because it maybe is too slow to play. Um, it might be a powerhouse later on, but, I mean, early game, you can't do it. Um, uh, what did I want to touch on? Basically, the, the logistics of the whole thing with, with Fast Advance is that she comes out of the gate strong, but just like a criminal uh, deck as a runner, they're dynamite out of the gate, but the longer the game goes on, the less the return is. With a core playing Fast Advance, generally the same is true. So that's why we don't have a ton of problem playing our criminals against these type of corporations because they are kind of losing their steam as we are as well. So, so you're saying that a uh, fast advance is easy to win against? No, no it's not easy to win against. No, 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 no. But the fast advance is a phenomenal way to play this game. It it's is. phenomenal. It works. I think what he's trying to say is there's so many nuances in this game that playing a fast advance deck is trying to make a machine which is, is a lot more like Magic the Gathering, um, Call of Cthulhu, uh, like card games like that where you want your deck to do specific things and you don't really want to mess around. You just want to get the job done as quick and humanly as possible. You go into autopilot. That's, that's what I think he's trying to say. I think this game has a lot of heart and it has like a lot of... Poker. Uh, yeah, a lot of poker, a lot of nuances that, that people enjoy and that's why they kind of maybe... I mean, maybe you play both, but maybe you jump ship for this game because you like those aspects. But I agree with you. Um, 
I don't personally like fast advance. I see where it comes in, but it just I think that being a being a runner, I I just never second guess myself when I'm when I'm playing them, and I just go as hum, as hard as humanly possible. And, yeah. and generally, Cause, well, because you have to, right? But it works because they're also doing the same thing. So uh, when know. you so when you play your runner and you play fast and aggressive, do you feel you're controlling the time, or is the corp controlling the game time? Like, is there is there one side that's more controlling the clock than the other? I think that I think that that's kind of a question that's lost on me because I play criminals, which is kind of a different it's a different breed of decks. Like 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 Corpse was games saying, fast. the games you're either gonna win really quick or lose over a long grueling time, game. Yeah. Like that's basically <laughs> how it is. Yeah. Um, and it's just, I yeah I. I I don't know. It's it's tough. It's it's hard to say that it's a bad way to play. I just don't you, think you it's can't as fun. Say that. Yeah. You know, I played yeah. I played uh, James. Shout out the the tournament winner um, at, at the Cambridge Dream. Well Regionals. done, James. Well done. Uh, he was playing Haas Byroid Fast Advance. I didn't actually look or count his deck, but from what I could tell, he was playing a Haas Byroid with three shadows, three ice walls, three trick of lights. I can't, can't get more efficient than that. Like, it's just, and he, he's running Archive Memories and Biotic Labors. Like, and he didn't lose, he, he won every match he played. I mean, he was playing Noise Mill, which a lot of people would say kind of is another, is, it would be the, the runner version of a Fast Advance. It's top tier. It's pretty top um, tier. But the, these are top tier decks that we're talking about, and uh, yeah, I don't find them fun. I would I would personally not play them. I have cards that are fast advance e because you kind of need them to do. You things. definitely need a good aspect of your deck fast advance, and I think the tournament structure has dictated that. Yeah, I I tried to validate what you're saying, Mike. I had a my original shell game deck was almost unbeatable. Like you, it was it, it was a monster. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> and there's a lot of people that will validate that. But the thing is, it took so long to run. And, and it just, because there were so many, I would just stack the mind games on top of the mind games until the runner didn't know what to do. And then they're like, okay, well, I might as well just R&D lock them. You know what I mean? And then they're running through, then they're playing my game. They're always playing my game, except it's just so long. And I went to the, my first uh, tournament down at Griffcon in Guelph, um, and time a lot, eh? whew, which I went to time uh, twice. Um, every one of my my uh, court games was forty five minutes, so long. I had to restructure it. I I had to figure out how to get the stuff out faster. Plus, I feel that there's there's times too when you you know you have those three point um, agendas that are five advance that you really don't want to slow play when you're when those three point agendas come up yeah. you know like I, that's why I think you have to build part of your deck for a fast advance that's if you if you use the the three pointers like I personally right now have three pointers in mind they will be coming out after this new um, future proof pack but I I don't know my heart skips a couple beats so you lose Two agendas that are three points each, and you're yeah. playing behind the eight ball for the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, you're right? terrified the whole time. I think, uh, and I think a part of this, I don't understand. Uh, maybe you can defend yourself in the in the the comments, but I don't understand what you mean by Project Beal being underplayed. I think that Fast Advance. I mean, you could you uh, could contest yeah. to this. You're our actual NBN Fast Advance. Uh, he, mean, he means people not putting counters on it. Above and beyond the three. Oh, that's what I think he means. Yeah, he's just, like he means just advancing it for three instead of so, yeah, so using, ripping the thing uh, up and scoring it for a ton more. Which no, I can I, tell you is exactly how I would play it. I, I, I think it, um, it, it's a dynamo I would forget all the text. Yeah. yeah, no, I think that's going to be very situational for for the way that I play. I use the um, astro scripts, and so now I will be saving those up to throw advancement tokens on. On this project card. So um, just to quickly talk about like, and you were the first one that I heard say this. Two Astro scripts gives you two points. It also gives you an agenda token. You score that for three. Throw the other two on. That's your seven points right there. Yeah. In three agendas that the runner couldn't take 
the seven points. <laughs> so, so realistically, when you say that that this project card is going to be underused because of fast advance, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to flip the other side of the coin. I think this kills in an NBN fast advance. Yeah, that's yeah, that's NBN. No, it's, it's only gonna be used in NBN. No, yeah, yeah. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, thanks for coming out. Yeah. I'm gonna go sit in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm for shame, but. I, I know, know. Um, he's 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 correct. Like the, the project Beal thing is is a little a little touch and go, but but the he's main, definitely correct. The body of this statement is like, absolutely correct. <laughs> That's what you were trying to say. I no, just, it wasn't at all. He's correct though. Like a lot of people, especially a lot of either new gamers or gamers who may have only been doing this for a month or two, are going like, you know, oh well, I have to figure out a way to play fast advance. Well, you actually don't. You might be able to figure out. A deck that plays very methodically and is going to have a much higher win ratio than somebody who is trying to scramble a fast advance every time. But we're just simply not seeing those take, decks. If take the can... deck that you, um, you know, you sit down and play a, play a casual game with a friend. If it drags out, find the best pieces of that that are working and just, find and, just and just tweak it. Because someone's, you know, you bring it to a tournament, even though it's not fast advance, you're going to throw people for a little bit of a loop. Yeah. So create... Create that momentum with uh, with a different play style. Because all it takes is one person to bring it to a tournament, be successful, other people see it, and that just spreads like a weird spider web back to everyone's... I, I would have used Wildfire. I think that this is touching on the whole... <laughs> This is touching on the whole net deck thing. Like, if, if I'm to sit down and play, like, say, for instance, Jameson played uh, the NBN Fast Advance and the, and the Noise Mill deck, like, the top tier two decks, like, and we played on a regular basis, I would just stop having fun and probably not want to play you. I'd be like, all right, you win a lot of games now. Let's have some fun. You know yeah. what I mean? I can understand <clears throat> in a tournament setting... You want to you win go those to win. games? Yeah. You're, you're going to go to win, and, 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 and I'm fine with that. But I can see what he's saying where... It is. It's. It's gonna. It's gonna make the game stagnant if people keep trying to if make. They, decks if they like continue that. to do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that they shouldn't exist. It's just they should. Yeah. You should definitely try to have fun. And with guys, the game. the game was written better than this, right? The game was written to utilize everything, to find a way to utilize everything, and it can be done, and it should be done. But we're just not doing it. If you didn't get in the discussion when Mike posted this up on the Facebook, now's your chance. Yeah. Get involved, Mike. Make sure that you're uh, you're in throwing your opinions under this video. Um, these guys will probably have big opinions. Yeah, a lot of good guys. I'm I'm on there every day. I try to do, I try to incorporate you guys as much as possible. But like, um, we all three of us have different aspects to to this bad publicity thing that we've we've made up. Um, and I'm trying to control that as much as possible. But I mean, any ideas you guys have? This is this is. I mean, this is my link to you directly. I, I work nights, so generally anybody over overseas, I can get messages really fast, and I check it all the time. So if you have ideas for contests, it, it, like something simple like this, just giving Mike a shout out is really fun for us to do, and it validates Mike as a player and as a person in this community, which we're trying to build. So, who definitely contributed? Yeah, big time. And cool. you can scroll down and read that post because everybody else who posts on it are freaking geniuses too. Like these it's, guys, know. it's a slick post, man. Yeah, it's like it's like grade A four material on Facebook, which is super rare. We didn't want to just we didn't want to paraphrase everything they were doing because that would have turned into a very boring. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go read it for yourself, and it's not boring. But it'd be boring to watch us do it. Perfect. So uh, there you have it. There's our thoughts on our first open table discussion. But uh, the discussion continues with your comments. And, uh, you know, while you're commenting, click subscribe. Why not? Why not? Hey, see you in the forums, Neckbeards. And if you're playing Mike, play Fast Advance, he hates that. <laughs> 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 Bye, guys. I'm fast advancing you, Mike.